Okay, coming up, we challenge your heartthrobs. Get ready and Peter Andre to a pop star joint. <laughs> A minute, we've got an imposter. I didn't see Neil there. <laughs> We're four gorgeous men. Gorgeous. <laughs> now, these are the latest pop sensations over on my left, on my loft, on my left, <laughs> over here from Sheffield. The football teams aren't up to much at the moment, but the men certainly do it for us. It's get ready, <laughs> Matthew, Ashley, and Mark. Yes, well, we've decided to leave it up to you, the viewer, to decide which one of these guys you'd like to see perform their song at the end of the show. And of course, you can still chat to them using our facts, and the number is. 0171-308-5010. Now wait, you're both nothing without fans, of course. And I I'm on your side, I'll do my prayer, yeah. Okay, coming up, we challenge your heartthrobs. Get ready and Peter Andre to a pop star jaw. And in the next 30 minutes, you're going to decide which one of them gets to perform at the end of the show. We've got an imposter. I didn't see Neil there. <laughs> We're four gorgeous men. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are the latest pop sensations. Over on my left, on my loft, on my left. <laughs> I've got the sexiest thing from Australia oh. since Rolf Harris hey, and a body Rolf to Harris. match. Rolf <laughs> and over here from Sheffield, the football teams aren't up to much at the moment, but the men certainly do it for us. It's get ready. Hello. <laughs> Matthew, Hello. Ashley, and Mark. Yes, well, sir. we've decided to leave it up to you, the viewer, to decide which one of these guys you'd like to see perform their song at the end of the show and of course you can still chat to them using our facts and the number is 0171 <coughs> 308 5010. Now wait, you're both nothing without fans of course and I want to see if you've got any, um, particularly in the Brighton area which is where our video phone link is hooked up to this week. It's actually in the <laughs> Zap Cyber Cafe in Brighton but uh, so far it's only our totally disinterested researcher, paunchy researcher, Hugh, who looks even worse on the internet than he does in real life. But, uh, but hopefully later on they'll be, you'll both be equally represented by uh, screaming fans down there who we'll speak to later on. Well, if you want to vote for Get Ready, phone 00090-100701. I better repeat that, 00090-100701. <laughs> but if you want to vote for Peter, his telephone number is 090 We're going to see a little more about them. But if you want to get down to the Zyber Cafe now, get there. <laughs> Take my hand. This world's yours Climb up now But have they got what it takes to become real pop stars? We're going to find out in our Are You A Real Pop Star fan quiz. <laughs> okay then, I'm going to start off with you, Peter, seeing as you're my All man right. today. Right, who's my that, that? That was That's in Australia. This is Britain. I mean, yeah, well, you how have you guys done? <laughs> we'll find out today. Have, have, you, done any, have, have, you, have you done any tours? Like, any oh, yeah, we did 400 tours last year. Yeah, ah. We sold actually 251,000 copies in Malaysia. <laughs> 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 yes, but to be a proper pop star, you have to have a celeb girlfriend. And I've heard you've been snogging someone famous out there. Tell us about that. What was your snog being for? Uh, <laughs> you, one That's of you guys That's have been like known. I've, it's been heard that you went on for like seven hours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I went to a party once and I um, kissed a girl called Katia for seven hours. Seven hours. <laughs> Work. Was, hard work, was. I know, but this guy here, work. he's been working hard. How long did it take you before you started to become famous? I started singing since I was two, and um, I kept on going into talent competitions and that right up until I was 16. And then I entered a talent show, and um, one of the judges offered us a, a recording contract live on TV, so... Well, hard work really to both happy. of you, but I'm afraid the choice isn't ours. I mean, we think they're real pop stars, but the choice is yours. You're the ones to vote. We'll be seeing you after the break, where you'll be seeing a <laughs> lot more of these guys. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> Naked against because he's got children. Welcome back to Watch This Space. Now I just have to say, these guys have got fans that have found us on our boat in the middle of the Ducklands. So this lot will come all the way from <laughs> Now we bring to you the very latest in fashion and today it is Pants of the Week. Yes! Yeah. You in any way, but we can resist getting the men to model them for us. And I have to tell you that fashion experts say that pants are worn to be seen this summer under the jeans. Though. And first up is Matthew from Get Ready. He's wearing the Anthony and Alison pants. Yes. 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 Available from.
from selected department stores and they cost £18. Nice bit of a waistband there. Oh. <laughs> next we've got... Who have we got next? Come out. He's hiding, come out. We've got Mark. Yeah. 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 Fine piece of Sheffield steel there and he's wearing... <laughs> he is wearing... And next up is Ashley. This is the last pair of shorts bought from London <laughs> Debenhams. <laughs> They're only available in the States. Stay sexy. Whoa. Last but by far not least, Peter Andre, who is <laughs> He's wearing a pair of cotton underpants that cost three for 50 pence <laughs> from East Ham Ice Street. Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> You all look really, really sexy. I want to go home with all of you guys tonight. You love yeah, <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. Now, if that has influenced you in any way, then you're sad. But there's still time to vote, so get darling. Get darling. Neil, man, I'm serious. Them girls, yeah. they get to do everything on a show, you know what I mean? Not like that I want to do like a male pants feature, unless I'm wearing them myself. Don't but. worry about it, I'll tell you. Pants of the weak, pants of the strong. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, well, both bands have uh, proved their popularity. There's loads of fans down here in, in Brighton, so can I have uh, one big scream for both bands, please? <laughs> yeah, they love you. Can, you. can you hear that adoration? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Basically, we've got the results in, and they've been written on the back of the boys here. So let me see your tops off, please. So let me see the show some more Come flesh on. on the show. Tamara, so, please, the results. One, two, three. Okay, oh, so. And the winner's on!